Tonight at 6 in this election year for the White House, members of the Seneca Nation are going to also elect their next president in November. As Channel 2's Ron Plants reports tonight, a well-known business leader is seeking the job and a new way to negotiate the nation's casino agreement with New York State. One thing that I've always been called is a closer. You start something and you close the deal. J.C. Seneca launching his bid for Tribal Nation president and as priority one for the Seneca's financial stability, addressing stalled negotiations for the casino gaming compact with the state, which technically expired last year, but is now operating under another extension agreement for the three Seneca casinos in Niagara Falls, Buffalo, and Salamanca. Seneca wants a more forceful, energetic approach. Our side is comprised of some counselors and legal and they have all lawyers on their side. And so I think the players have to change to be able to get things done. I think the, the, the leadership, the president and the governor uh, need to come together. And I believe that at that point, I think things can move along a lot quicker. And prominent business owner Seneca, who says he has dealt with Albany and Washington leaders, threw down new bargaining chips, just as some claim the governor and the state are dragging out negotiations to keep the current 25% slot machine revenue shared with the state and host communities. The revenue sharing for me is zero. I think uh, we will do far better off without revenue sharing uh, with the state. But J.C. Seneca otherwise open to competition, reversing past concerns about commercial non-Seneca casinos. Exclusivity of gaming has hurt us over the years because it's kind of like a security blanket. It's protected us, which is good, and that's fine. It's got us to where we are now 20 years later. But I think it's time to take that blanket away and let's go out there, let's compete in the world. We reached out to Albany. The governor's office response does not really address any of those points raised by J.C. Seneca, just repeating the operating agreement extension and efforts to reach a new compact. Uh, so far, there are no other declared Seneca presidential candidates, but there's a filing deadline if anybody wishes to do so of September 6th. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Hi, Ron.